Long gone are the days when children lay on their bedroom floors innocently playing games that look like this. Now, 97% of teens are playing video games that look like this. And an alarming number of them are becoming addicted. Yes, that's right, addicted to video games. Games where murdering men, women, and police officers is the whole objective. Now, many experts debate whether these games are making our children more aggressive and in some instances, more violent. Take a look. Video games and your kids. Is there a link between virtual violence and the real thing? A new study finds a link between violent games and aggressive behavior in children. Critics point to this, the appearance of weapons in video games, like this Remington assault rifle pictured in popular game Call of Duty. Kids are telling us that the longer they play and the more they play aggressive games, they start thinking in an aggressive way and they have more aggressive attitudes. The kinds of messages and images that they are putting in their minds, um, I think they're, they're seeing nightly dress rehearsals for huge acts of violence. We see video games actually being used as a scapegoat. The problem is just the science, the data, does not back up that it would actually have an effect. Fortnite, a free video game, has generated a billion dollars in revenue in just a year. Compulsively playing too many video games now qualifies as a mental health condition by the World Health Organization. Gaming disorder covers video game addiction that leads gamers to neglect other parts of their lives. From difficult to compulsion, if people have impaired control over gaming, give it priority over other activities, and there is a continuation or escalation of gaming despite negative consequences, they could have a mental health condition. 